Indie 100 is a six-day event organised by QUT's independent music project that runs in the last week of May each year. The event aims to showcase local music through the collaboration of young talent and industry professionals. This six-day event consists of 72 independent artists and bands recording 100 songs in 100 hours, with music industry heavyweights such as Magoo and Jeff McGann leading the way as producers, and third-year QUT music students assisting as studio engineers. Um, so, semester one for us as students was filled with a lot of the planning and the execution of the Indie 100 event. So, it was a really like stressful time a lot of the time and really busy. Um, but it was also really fun and it taught us a lot about project management and we got a chance to really implement our skills that we've learned throughout our QUT degree throughout that. So then starting semester two, we were left with the post-event organisation and so that was basically the um, start of organising the launch of the 2013 and 2014 album. So after the big Indie 100 event at the end of May, we'd really earned our break and our highly organised project manager made sure we stayed on track over the semester break. We even came back a few weeks prior to the commencement of semester two to get on track with our post-event objectives. Uh, as always, these objectives are time-bound, measurable levels of performance to be achieved by the end of the project. So whilst there wasn't a week-long event to head towards this semester, it did not mean that the work was going to be any less intensive. In fact, it was probably going to be more challenging. The first of the objectives we had set for ourselves was to release the 2013 and 2014 compilation albums by mid-November. So this required a number of smaller precursor objectives to be achieved along the way. For the 2014 album, it required the collating of the top 10 voting as well as rescheduling the re-recording of the tracks. Uh, for the 2013 and 2014 albums both, it required the mastering of tracks, the album designs, uh, the physical pressing and digital distribution, all before the mid-November release date. Summer days, bring back your... Unfortunately, these smaller objectives have been hampered along the way by challenges. The 2014 voting has not been finalised as the industry professionals have more pressing professional commitments. Um, and this coupled with the heavy bookings at Gasworks have meant that our recordings have been pushed back until December. With the 2014 album put on hiatus, um, our focus was scaled back to the 2013 album release. Uh, so that is on track with the tracks mastered, the digital distribution and physical pressings ready to go. We're just waiting on album art. So overall, our first objective has not been achieved, but we are on track for a mid-November release for the 2013 album. And head on water, progress and quality. Our second objective was to host a combined launch party for the 2013 and 2014 album in line with their release. However, due to Phil's absence in the early parts of this year, uh, the 2013 album never came to fruition and because of the 2014 album's delay, we, uh, we were instead tasked to launch the 2013 album this year. For this album launch, we are currently running behind schedule as we have uh, difficulty sourcing for the right venue. Due to our tight budget, uh, we, are, we need to source for a venue not only of a good size, but it has to be affordable as well. And most of the venues we have approached have uh, asked us to guarantee a certain number of attendees, and that is just something we can't do. We've also hit a major setback recently, as a promising venue was taken from us due to us taking far too long to decide on it. And hence, for our second objective to host a launch party, it has not been met. Traveling. Five, four, three, two. I'm the one that touched the earth, moon, and sun became a master of the skies. Our next objective this semester is to generate a handover document for the organizing committee for next year. 
the handover document from last year has been extremely helpful for us in organizing Indy 100 this year. Convergent stars form to detonate the separate of consciousness, energize the solar, the future supernova. Rush touch the canvas, get the As the literature puts it, performing a full project re uh, closure and review allows us to uh, evaluate our successes and failures and to pass on valuable knowledge and learning. Thus far, uh, we are on track in achieving this aim with the handover documents being 80% uh, done up to this point. And I'll be righteous like crisscross dimensions with my iris on the Cyrus, son of Geb, the ancient astronaut with the afterthought. As you can gather from the objectives, this project faced a number of challenges in our post event um, section. The first of those challenges was the return of Phil Graham, the head of music, to the project, as well as the loss of Amela, one of our project interns. The changes meant time was spent getting Phil up to date with the project, as well as adjusting our processes and records to standardise them in line with previous years, which we weren't aware of previously. An example of this is the band camp required additional information that required following up, and with one less staff member, adjusting and repeating work took time. Stayed up through the night to turn my skin into a metal surface, I'm stained, staying unchanged. The second challenge we faced was the postponement of recording due to the lack of voting and heavy bookings at the Gasworks studio. These were out of our control on the project and meant that readjusting the post-event objectives to focus solely on the 2013 album and pushing back the element of time element of the objectives for the 2014 album. The additional work, shifting deadlines and reduction of project scope and objectives which we faced on the independent music project are all highlighted by the literature as negative impacts and of changes during a project lifetime. Yeah. No. Quick one. Huh? Quick one. Quick one. Quick one. Go on. You get about four hours to make a song, and then you kind of like turn it into a film shoot. <laughs> After coming back to work after the project, on such a high after the recording week, we had ideas bubbling about a combined launch of the 2013 and 2014 albums. The idea was to hold them over a month of Sunday afternoon music sessions, with a range of artists that would showcase QT's music talent, the project, and as well as offering a chance for a sustained social media marketing effort. However, the 2014 album postponement, coupled with minimal budget and challenges securing a venue, as well as the tough scheduling around the G20 summit, meant that the plans were scaled back. This felt like a defeat for the project as we were trying to tie up loose ends from previous years and leave the project in good stead with overall awareness of the independent music project increased and leaving no unfinished elements when handing off to the next year's project team. To overcome these challenges required substantial motivation from our team's project manager to spin these challenges into a positive. The literature shows that a project team can develop a motivated subculture within an organisation despite the overall climate. As a result of Jess's efforts, the adjusted objectives have remained relatively on track and the handover document and the future project opportunities are reflective of this motivated team culture. I'm the project manager for the Indy 100 project. I'd say the biggest challenge was probably having Phil Graham, um, the head of music and sound, uh, not part of the project this year. It just meant every week we were trying to uh, trying to catch up. The volume that comes through as well, having 72 artists recording 100 songs, um, can be quite overwhelming as well. Good luck. No, enjoy it. It's a it's a wonderful process. Um, it's a lot of hard work and it takes a long time, but the people who are around you are just so much fun. It hardly feels like work. The best part of the project is probably the fact that we get to share the studio space with 72 of Brisbane's artists. Um, we give them four hours of free recording time and they use it. Um, interns, definitely the interns. Love the interns. Yeah. Don't you blame your soul 
forgive, forget, don't let love die, and I will be your home. Indy 100 2014 has presented the project management team with a few unique opportunities. So the first one of these is partnering with one of the Sony teams and then using our content to produce a project of themselves. But they'll talk about that more in their presentation. So another opportunity that Indy 100 2014 has presented us with is the opportunity to do a launch of the 2013 album at O Week 2015. So due to the challenges that we've previously discussed, the organizing the venue for the launch has been particularly hard. So O Week seems like our best option at the moment. Um, this would mean added publicity for the Indy 100 event, with university students being our main demographic of entrance. And it would also mean a celebration of the work QUT has put into the Indy 100 event. Oh, you said you wanted to let go of the past. I think the goal of 100 songs in 100 hours is ambitious. But it's good. Um, but it's awesome. And I think, I think they'll meet it. I think everyone's, like from, from our few sessions that we've seen tonight, I think everyone's been getting it done. We as the Indy 100 2014 project management team still have a lot left to do with this project. There's still the 2013 launch, the 2014 album and launch, and the organisation of next year's event. But as the three of us will be leaving at the end of the year, we'll be bringing on Joe Saxby to fill that summer gap. His responsibilities will be launching the 2013 album, organising and launching the 2014 album, and starting to organise the 2015 event. Our jobs now as the current event team are to create an awesome handover document so that Joe and next year's team are well equipped and to just begin to organise everything for next year so they don't have as much on their plate. Hi, welcome to Guestworks. Come on welcome in. in. Um, whenever a band comes in, we get them to sign our whiteboard as well to keep track of who's been in and where we're up to with our song count as well. This is Studio A and... Yeah, Do you want to introduce yourself a bit? Me? Yeah. Hi. I'm Tegan. Tegan's an engineer. This is the, big, the biggest live room we have. Um, we've got a very beautiful full size sideway and sun. Yes. Yeah. 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 and Science piano, which sounds really awesome. And cool drums. Uh, uh, studio B name. So this is Studio B, and at the moment we have Dean. Yeah. Yeah. Right now they are tracking their vocals live, so let's not disturb them. Yeah. So we got two levels on this place. Um, upstairs is Studio C, and we have a kitchen. <laughs> um, we also have the workshop on this room as well. Uh, that is where everyone does their mastering of the tracks. And mastering will basically make the tracks ready so um, they can go straight up onto an online platform. So pretty much just bring up the average volume, fix anything we can, because um, obviously um, the mix is going to be pretty quick in about four hours. So um, yeah, bring up the average volume, make it a little bit sparkly, and so it translates across a bunch of different platforms, so laptops, speakers, stuff like that. So yeah, you know, yeah, quickly. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Tom. Alright, move on to studio C. Here at the moment is Bryony with lovely unicorn hair. Awesome. Great, right. okay. <laughs> Hello, are you for there? Right now? Yes, we are. Oh. Um, Excellent. Can I run and do my keys? Oh, yeah. Sorry, we're gonna Sorry. get out of the way. Hi and time. bye. Time! Me and Emma can do it. So, which song? Sorry? Yeah. No, I, uh, not run out. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm um, very busy. So, right here is where the entertainment interns, which is us, this, this is our station. This is basically where we work. Um, As you can see, it's getting to the end of the week. That's why it's messy. Yeah. <laughs> Some sweet potatoes. 
this is our um, schedule, I guess, sort of. Yeah, and seven. You can see, there's been many amendments on the day. Seventy-two bands. It's not an easy job to coordinate all them. And that's it. Yeah. You have seen, you have seen um, studios. You have seen where we work. Now it's time to get out. <laughs>